What's going on everyone, Zidane Productions here, welcome back to another video, so today guys, I have some MP11 Goliath here on the map, Kremlin, my second favorite DLC map, because Skyrise is obviously the best, but today, we're gonna be heading into some old or new news, whatever you wanna call it, um, you can consider this old news, but I consider it pretty new to me, because I thought this was just a rumor, I thought it was just, you know, rumors going around that this is gonna happen, but apparently now it's gonna happen, because on the Microsoft website, there is now a new controller coming to Xbox One. Now, this isn't, it, it's not just any controller, guys. This is a, a controller that will change the way people look at parts of the Xbox One. It'll fix a lot, of, or, or some problems that we have, and there's one main problem considering the headset. So, first, I'm going to show you guys a spinning 3D image of what this really is. So, take a look, guys, on the website. I'm going to put the link in the description uh, to read this article with me, but... This is what the new controller is going to look like. It's the Special Edition Covert Forces Wireless Controller. So we're going to take a quick look at that. It just pretty much looks like a standard Xbox One controller. But it obviously will have, you know, some some advances and some new things on it. So, so that, that's a quick look at it. That's just take a look at the new camo, the new texture it has on it, the new everything, the new colors and stuff. But guys, I'm going to be reading off for you what they're going to say. So... First of all, the estimated retail price is going to be $64.99, so $65, bucks, available starting June 2015, so basically this month. So, first article here says, Elevate your game. Equip yourself with the Xbox One Special Edition Covert Forces Wireless Controller. Featuring a modern camouflage pattern and a military look, impulse triggers deliver fingertip vibration feedback so you can feel every jolt crash in high definition. Responsive thumbstick and an enhanced D-pad provide the greater precision. And with the new 3.5 millimeter stereo headset jack, you can directly plug in any compatible headset. <sighs> any compatible headset, guys. So, oh wow, the release date was June 9th. So it's already out. There you go, June 9th. It's already out. If you don't know yet, this controller is out. And, man, guys, stereo headset, 3.5 millimeter jack. <clears throat> guys. If you have an Xbox One, and you just let this fact blow over your head, and you had an Xbox 360, and you solved that headset for your Xbox 360, you can use it now. You can use it now. And that's what makes me want to, you know, when I get my Xbox One, that's what makes me want to buy this controller. Because now, I don't even have to pay the money for a new headset. I, instead, I can pay for the controller, which is less likely to wear down on me over time. And I can use my standard headset that I, or my normal headset that I use for my 360. So all in all, <laughs> it's it's great what's happening right now. It's great that they finally, finally came out with this. Because when they came out with this before, everyone was like, what are you doing? Why can't you just put in a regular controller jack? So, guys, now that's coming. Now, uh, next up we have just the greatest gamepad. Now even better is another thing. So it says, feel the action with impulse triggers. Um, you know, D-pad precision, uh, it's just a whole new, like, remastered D-pad or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it appears there's, like, some really good grippage, it looks on, like, on the grip, or, or on the, uh, thumbsticks. And that's pretty much it. Uh, the thumb pad looks a little tacky to me, it looks like it's gonna be a little bit pushed into the controller, it doesn't look like it's gonna be that alright, but... You know, it, it looks alright, it looks alright to me, and it's definitely the controller I am gonna get. Um, because keep in mind, I don't really use any, you know, custom controllers, I don't use any scuff or anything, I don't use any of that, I never really got into it, um, mainly because like, a controller is a controller to me, and I never really got that far into it at all, but, guys, uh, it, it looks nice, it looks nice, the D-pad definitely looks pretty nice, um, I have a D-pad on my controller, my 360 controller, it's just not the standard 360 controller, but on my D-pad and my 360 controller, it's definitely a lot better from the standard controller. Like, it comes out a lot more. It's perfect. If I can get this D-pad that I have here on the 360 like that, I mean, on the Xbox One like that, it'll be perfect. But thank you guys for watching. That's all time for today, guys. Let me know if you're going to get this controller for your Xbox One. If you have the Xbox One, let me know. If you don't have the Xbox One and you're going to get it, let me know if this is the controller for you because most people most likely are going to have an old headset from their 360 that they can't use because it doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter jack. Now, you can use that. You can finally use your Turtle Beaches, you can use your Tritons, you can use anything you want now. You can't. You don't have to get, you know, an exclusive headset.
for your Xbox One. So, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. I will see you guys all later with another brand new video. Take care. Have a nice day. And goodbye.